everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel on Rag Pea Plans. Um, so what I have for you today is finally, I finally figured out my tripod situation. Thankfully, I do not need to get another one. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do for you guys is to show you guys as quickly as I can because I don't wanna do too long of videos, how I combined a Happy Planner horizontal with a monthly um, layout. So um, these both are wrong, wrong planners. They were both 18 month planners, but I actually only used 12 months from January to December. Um, so this is of course what the front cover is and this is actually just one of um, Happy Planner's hardbound covers. They don't really have these out anymore and I really wish they would make more because I just love using these to protect my planners. And then I also have the gold discs um, on, on it as well. Um, the gold metal expander disc. So these ones are actually bigger than the classic size disc you guys will see. Um, so yeah, so here is my planner. Um, now this is, I primarily use this for as a weekly journal and memory keeper. So um, I decorate this kind of when I feel like it and when I don't, it just really all depends on how I'm feeling. But for the most part, um, you know, I will put some stickers in it here and there, again, all depending on how I'm feeling. I typically like to do this planner and work on it um, on Saturday morning so I can kind of drink my coffee in the morning when I wake up and reflect on how my week went. So just kind of flip into the planner. Of course, we have the gorgeous Wrong Wrong Girls here. This one is my favorite. I should name her something. I'm not sure. But yeah, she's great. So we go ahead and open it up. You've got my name, of course, and then the year. Because again, this was an 18-month planner. You have the standard um, kind of look here um, with the 2019 and 2020 year at again plants calendars. And then um, at, before I decided to do this, um, this is actually going to be the only dashboard like this that you'll see on this planner. Um, so I did put kind of some stuff in here, some birthdays that I had. I ended up sending out some cards, so that was fun. So, and again, I've been using this for six months, so I'm very, very happy that I stayed consistent with this planner. So you'll see here, of course, we got January. Um, this is from that monthly layout that I was telling you about. And then when we flip over here, um, you'll see that I did keep the monthly dashboard pages. So right over here is where I have my habit trackers, um, where I like to kind of track what I have going on for the month, my monthly goals, my note to self, and then the things that I need to get done for the month. I put my top priorities here, and this is kind of like a summary. So I'll kind of put, okay, well, top priorities for journaling. I wanted to make sure that I journaled. This is when I was using it daily, 26 out of the 31 days in the month, and so on and so forth. Things that I'm happy about. And then one thing I added to every month was um, my favorite fault favorite moments from the month, I have an HP Sprocket, which is an instant planner uh, printer. So I'm able to print these really cute two by three um, little um, photos and put them in my planner. So like this one, um, my aunt made me a bunch of hats out of Green Bay Packer colored yarn. So I was really excited about that. And then here's Jesse. He was working outside with his dad and his beautiful. So that was fun. Um, so we'll go ahead and flip um, kind of through some pages. So like I said, this is back when I was doing daily journaling. So again, I would just kind of write about what was happening for the day and like a moment from the week. And then as we flip, you'll see I'll put different things in. Like my dog celebrated his sixth birthday, not his seventh. I don't know why I put that in there like that. Or like take a picture, like I'm watching Run Tree Hill. It's like one of my favorite shows. So I went ahead and put that in. Um, and then of course, you know, just things that happened, you know, fun times like me and Jesse, we went to B-dubs one night. Um, funny memes, I thought this one was hilarious. It says, um, up early in the morning before the kids cut the product, I hollered for about a good eight minutes as this. So um, that was really funny. And then just different things that happened throughout the week, like the Royal Rumble was right here, which was a, just a great event. One of my favorite wrestlers, Edge, came back and I lost my shit. So that was a lot of fun. Took my nephews to an Iowa Wolves game and me and my husband went right here um, in Des Moines at Wells Fargo Arena, so that was a good time. And then um, I always, I did, um, for the most part, most months, I put in what my favorite memories were from the month and then my month in review, where I put in all the books that I read, um, how my monthly goals went, my favorite moment from the month, and then um, just a quick summary of the month and then things that I want to do um, for the next month. So I will tell you, I did not stay consistent with this and that's okay, it's my, it's my you know, journal. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and just do a flip through of really 
like kind of like the next couple of months and then what I'll do if I find something then I'll go ahead and I'll just do I'll come back in but I'm gonna speed through and kind of show you guys what everything looks like Okay, so I'll go ahead and stop right here. So for March, this is basically when COVID just went freaking annoyed. So for the first week and a half of March, actually, I was in Wisconsin or I was actually in Illinois. I was in Illinois this week, Wisconsin this week, um, and I celebrated my birthday in Wisconsin. So I turned 34 on the 7th of March. So basically everything was good, everything's good up until <laughs> right here. Um, I got the call that I needed to come back to Iowa ASAP. So I did, um, and then I drove back to Iowa from Milwaukee. That was about a six hour drive right here. Went back to work on the 13th, and then actually started working from home and have been working from home since the 16th of March. Happy Planner actually put out a really fun um, like challenge, um, and so I did the challenge in here, and as you can see, I have it tabbed over here. So that'll be something that'll come in after all my monthly pages, but the challenge was a lot of fun. Um, just different things to kind of journal about and celebrate, you know, just to kind of remain positive just because when COVID kind of hit and everything got crazy, you know, it was really easy to get down and depressed. So you'll see that as I flip through the month of March as this, that was um, a journaling prompt that I did. Okay, so this um, this week um, was basically the week of Memorial Day. So um, for some of you that may not know, so um, May 29th is actually my wedding anniversary with my husband. So me and my husband, we have been married. Um, this year, it marked year nine. Um, but the week, granted, we had a great anniversary. Um, it was bittersweet. Um, George Floyd actually died that previous Monday. Um, and then just hearing about Breonna Taylor and Ahmed Aubrey, that was a really, really hard week. Uh, 
So that was actually like a really hard week. Sorry, I had to, my camera went crazy, so I had to restart. But that was really the week that, um, you know, a lot of protesting happened and um, started to happen anyway. And people really started to take notice that, you know, no one deserves to die in the way that George Floyd did, that Breonna Taylor did, that Ahmed Aubrey did. So um, really, really hard week. Like I said, we celebrated the best we could. Um, but you know, our hearts were definitely heavy. And, um, so I actually did a black lives matter spread in my planner, um, to just really kind of focus on the frustration that I am feeling and the frustration that I saw in photos that I felt like would best represent where I was during this critical time in American history. So that was a whole, um, you know, point with this whole spread, um, it's just really hard because, you know, you never want to do a spread like this. Um, but again, this journal is therapy for me. So this is actually something that helped. So I'll go ahead and I'll speed through the rest until we get to where we are now. to this current week so again I am six months into this planner um, I am so excited um, you know it's just I'm one of those people where I like to see things to completion so the fact that you know I have six healthy months of memories that was weird. my camera just decided to die on me on my iPad um anyway what I was trying to say was just the fact that you know I have six healthy months of memories and experiences and things like that um, here just really mean a lot to me. I'm really excited to finish the next six months um, and you know go back to this really awesome setup that I have here um, and it should be a good time. So that is my video for today. Um, you know I do hope that every, today is actually um, Friday June 19th so today is Juneteenth. I hope everybody had a great Juneteenth holiday and took some time to reflect and also celebrate um, the legacy and the history of African Americans um, in America as African American history is US history. Um, again, if you liked this, um, please make sure that you like this video. I'm gonna do like everybody else <laughs> and subscribe. Um, as I, my goal is to post one weekly vlog and one video per week until I can get something a little bit more consistent and really prove to myself that I can do this. Um, and then also I do uh, have an Instagram, so please get in touch with me on social media. Um, that is, um, I am at Radkey Plans and I also do have a blog. So um, you can check out my blog, um, which is Radkey Plans at, or radkeyplans.blogspot.com. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, we'll be here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>